What's up, Fig Fam? So, as you guys know, I've been working on my BCA collection, and uh, I recently discovered whoops, that there was a variant to the Christian figure. Now, I've always known that there was a Christian um, in the DTA series. However, I didn't realize that he was different. Until recently, so naturally, I had to pick them up. So today, our TBT unboxing is for this DTA Tour 3, WWF Jack Pacific, Christian. What's up, Fig Fam? So I'm back with another TBT unboxing, Throwback Toys unboxing on my YouTube channel at Fig Heel. If you're not subscribing, please get to it now. Um, like I said, I've been working on my BCAs, trying to break that down, get all of them out of the way. I'm literally down to where I only need eight figures, and some of them are figures I already have. I just want better quality ones. Um, one that I needed was this DTA Tour Christian. I didn't even realize that it was different than the original, even though I knew I needed it. So I bought it, came in the mail, and I was like, holy, this thing is a variant. I had no idea that this Christian had blood spatter on it. Now, as you know, um, Gangrel and Christian came in the same series, but like most things, Jax, they re-released figures over and over and over, and one of the re-releases for Gangrel was this blood spattered gangrel in purple pants um i can't remember off the top of my head maybe fully loaded was a series i don't remember um and i never picked up this dta tour three christian because i didn't realize that it was different but it's just like the gangrel blood spatter except the blood spatter is a little bit thicker and it actually looks like blood um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this bad boy up So he comes with a ladder. Back then, every figure came with something. They were usually pretty lame accessories. Wow. I actually prefer this Christian to the original. Look at that. That is awesome. It looks like Gangrel just got done spitting his viscous liquid into the air and some of Christian's gear caught it. Now you can tell the leg molds are different, different leg molds. This is more of like a, a lightweight leg mold. This was used on a few other characters. Um, the boot, la boot laces are a little different, back of the elbow pads, but nothing that you would notice unless you're really holding them next to each other and comparing. Wow, look at that. Now, yes, this does not look like Christian in the face, but none of them did. They were very cartoony back then. Same detail in the hair and the face. Um, oddly enough, the chest is a little red on the uh, on the variant one. You can see it's like more tan on this one. Very cool. So, together we have... It's so funny, it's the same mold. We have the original Christian and Gangrel. And now we have the Bloody Gangrel, Bloody Christian. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So there you have it guys, it's a quick rendition of TBT unboxing. Did the DTA Tour 3 Christian blood spatter variant to match the blood spatter variant Gangrel. And then we have the original Christian and Gangrel here. I should have brought up a, a, a edge so I could have like a little brood layout, but I think it's fitting that these four stay together because they're the same mold and they really were made to go together. Um, the only thing that's missing is an edge covered in blood spatter. That would have been perfect to complete this trifecta. Um, if you haven't already, check out my coloring books on Amazon.com for $9.99, the Fig Heel Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books. 
Um, like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Subscribe to the channel. Check me out on Instagram, at Fake Heal. Hope you guys like this video. Keep your eyes peeled for another. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram at, at @figheel or at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And also check out Amazon.com for my new book, The Unreleased Wrestling Figures Coloring Book Volume 1, for $9.99, including prime shipping.